Welcome to jobskillshare.com, course Active Directory User Management, and the last section, Active Directory Bulk User Operations slash Tools. Now, in this section, we will just discuss some of the things that most of the administrators will do. You will not be doing this since this is a short course and it's very specific to users and computers management and for power users like uh, either help desk, IT managers or anyone who just did, does a little bit of management in Active Directory wants to learn about it. But this section may not apply to this course but I'm going to just touch it so then next time when we do the network engineering course which will involve Active Directory management through the by network administrators that's where we need to get into scripting type of script type of commands what type of scripting are used for different type of things maybe for some you can add users but for some you can put passwords for some you can put everything so I did just put little sections in here just for you guys to read about it and kind of get a a feel of it but uh, we're not gonna go through it we're not gonna create anything in scripts right now that's not the uh, goal of this course but what I do have to show you guys what are some tools that can do these things without even scripting and maybe at some point you can use it for your own benefit even as a help this person there might be some tools that you need to use to uh, basically solve real-time problems and I'll show you guys in a second so let's just start with something um, bulk users operations like you know something that you can do all together now I know in um I mean, let me delete this so I can show you guys in the beginning now I know you can do this scripting but most of the people will forget this a uh, new person they will try to jump into scripts which in this course I kinda tell people not to because you might just totally do something really stupid and create a lot of problems with scripts so um, what we need to do is you got to go to Active Directory users and computer um, section and here it says save queries right click on it and go to new and click on query and just name it all users okay and then go to define query and since we're dealing with users right now you can do the groups too you can do the computers groups but let's just try it on uh, users and when you click on the name just click has a value and leave it like that and click OK click OK and now it's going to look for all the users in your actual directory you went through and found out these users maybe you'll have 100 300 a lot of it so to do a uh, bulk operation you can just hit the keyboard with a shift and then go all the way down shift or if you wanna like you know pick one click control and um, you can customize it that way so I, I'm hitting control right now and then hitting what I need to like take off or take on so let's say for example I wanna work with only Dan and administrator I'm just gonna click on control and administrator now I can right click on it and disable both of the user at once I can add them to a group I can enable account if they were disabled I can move them together Let's see how things are gonna work so if I say disable they both are disabled right now but if I right click on it and say enable I can enable them I can go back to here and I can go to properties and I can put description everything here so for example let's say you are working sometimes this is what happened in the real world let's say a telephone number a fax number for a group of, let's say you have a group sales and there are 300, 300 users in that sales section and the fax number just got changed and your manager told you to go ahead and change everybody in sales the, the fax number I think the easiest way would be doing without doing using scripts would be this We'll just go there, go to the shift and hit, sorry, first, click on first one, hit the shift, and then click on the last one, go to properties, and then put a fax number, whatever you want to put, click on apply. Now everybody in this whole uh, group, any users of this, they should have that number in there. 
so if you go there and if you go to the account and telephone fax number is right here so you see everybody got that fax number so quickly without even using any script and that's the power of the queries right here so if I go back in there again and I right click go to properties of course you can do other things go to account you have these options right here log on options password if you want people to change their password or the certain group needs to change their password because they just got and some of the user got infected now you think that somebody else might also get infected you can use this method to force a uh, password just specifically on that group uh, profile organization you can change the titles and you won't, you won't be doing titles though in in a bulk corporation because you don't want to give same title to everybody okay so that's how you do it very easily uh, on a on this level but certainly you can do a lot of manual stuff when when you go to scripting if you go to powershell you can you have a whole power right there you can change everything in there but since we're not touching any scripts i i was just going through and it's really it's really up to you what kind of tools do you want to use now here's a great tool that um manage engine provides you and it's called ad manager and it's from manage engine ad manager you guys can google it and it'll give you a uh, um, 30 days free trial but the free version is also good for 100 users so it's gonna it will give you kind of idea of things too if you install it on your computer with active directory installed you click on login and then it tells you automatically it will pick up how many users do you have it says four you can refresh it here um, and then it will if there were if there were more than four in my activity it will show you right here inactive users tell me that three it gives you like a very quick information so your manager comes to you and say how many disabled computers do we have in active directory and you open this up oh we have uh, 25 okay so quick way to do uh, reporting to how many computers do we have in our active directory and you know we have eight uh, number of workstation disabled workstations domain controller someone sometime maybe a vendor will come and let's say there's nobody around your network administrator is busy and you're the help desk guy or you're a person who just manages active directory and they want to ask so how many domain controllers do you have because the vendor came to work on these uh, for some reason and it will be easy for you to find out oh we have uh, two domain controllers and um, like that and other stuff like here you do have a uh, report about groups you want to quickly find out how many groups do you have you can do it this way number of group policy you can also find it through here if you click on it it's going to give you a little more information since I don't have anything it's not showing me but uh, do you see this right here it just updated my users and I, when I click on it it tells me what are the users I can click on them and kind of get more in detail and change some stuff here if I want to from here but the main thing you would need a uh, AD management since for this video it will be AD management right here you click on that and now it gives you all the powerful uh, tool in this section AD management you have a very clear um, things right here like for example creating a bulk users if you click on it you can create a lot of users from CSV files and uh, CSV import is right here reset password for s for many many users move users it's very self like you know very easy to do it once you connect it to your active directory so this kind of saves you from that if you are that person uh, somehow that you need to do bulk users and you're doing that job like I said it's going to be your network I'm the straighter but let's say you're doing it then you might want to look into this kind of stuff and not go to the scripting you can easily do a mistake in script scripts computer management here group management all that is right here so take a look into play around with it on a on a virtual machine um, not a production for sure you don't want to install this on a production without um, like you know permissions or anything like that so on a test environment test it out and see if you can get like you know get the idea behind this alright so moving on to a different software this is another free one it's called whitesoft.co.uk and it has like three of them it's free 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 so you can get this one bulk 80 users um, let me see if I already got this 
yeah here so bulk kitty users you click on once you install that extract it it has a little registration requirement but I'm not gonna do that right now it says register later and it gives you that software right here so it says get users I can click on that and then go to users and I'll say okay and it'll just say okay decon is there and I can double click on it so no I can change the password here if I want to enable disable let's say I want to disable this account and there you go I got disable the the red mean is disabled I can enable it again and now it's green so it really depends on you what kind of software you are do you want to use for stuff like that for just normal disabling enabling in a uh, unlocking account I will never install um, um, like you know um, another software now if you're using uh, non-domain like you know sorry not the domain control maybe your computer you wants to just connect it to Active Directory and do things maybe yeah, you can use it but I always prefer just doing this from here Active Directory one of the best places just do it from here right click and do the same stuff over here now let's go back to another software another tool that I use um, which is called the networks here it's called account lockout examiner from this company right here when you click on it it's a free software it says download for freeware once you click on it it does require you to put your um, business email address I don't know if you use other email address if it's gonna work but if you put your business email address you should get this software it's very I really like this 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 saves me so much time that I'm going to give you an example right now I'm going to show you guys something so this is how it looks that software basically what happened is that let's say if your administrator put a bad account like you know if they put a six counts on your account that after six counts of bad password lock this account so this is a very everyday stuff like you know people do this all the time all the time even though um, they might remember the password for some reason like you know a lot of people do mistakes and maybe the enter key is hit by some kind of is jammed somehow and now they're locked out or some other reasons they maybe there's a software uh, uh, sorry there's a SharePoint site or anything any site that has a uh, it's it's basically added to your Active Directory and when they try to do their username and password it locks them out because your Active Directory is taken over and your administrator put six counts, seven counts, whatever, and now you're locked out. Now, why I say this software will save you so much time? This is why it's going to save you so much time because if somebody gets locked out, they wouldn't get. If you don't have this software and you don't have any other software like this, you basically will get a call from them and they will say, "Oh, um, I'm inside my um, workstation." and my email is giving me username and password error I can't log into my sites something is wrong and if you're new uh, to uh, Active Directory and, uh, and, and help us or any like you know you're gonna be starting to thinking and you'll be trying to think that uh, let me just go down there and work on this machine maybe I can fix it uh, while it was such an easy fix if you have this software you will basically get an email alert that this person just got logged out now if that person calls you you already know that this is an issue with a uh, active directory so all you tell them like oh okay you know what log off I'm gonna reset your account uh, or unlock your account and log back in and you should be good to go and I, I, t I I'm gonna tell you guys I do this all the time like in a week probably two or three times so before this when I didn't have this pa this software I would spend some time to find out uh, the problem and maybe after like working a year or two my experience level getting up then I know okay now that's that's the thing but you know sometimes it can be very useful for sites too there may be uh, um, a bad password saved into someone's um, website and uh, at home and now when they come back um, at work somebody turned their computer on and that password try to click in try to log in itself and they get locked out now at work they're saying that why am I getting locked out but the best way because it tells you when you get locked out it in the email it will tell you what kind of workstation is it using and you will definitely find out in that email that it was a home computer 
that is causing all the problems so you call them say hey why don't you go to your home computer and um, you know remove this site or whatever to fix that problem and that's why I wanted to go into detail with this software because I really like it and it saves a lot of time in the real world um, other than that there's really nothing much to do um, let's go back to the so we cover this area we cover the AD management so that is it we really don't need to do anything else in Active Directory for users and computer management and I will be creating a project after this and I'll see you guys in the project. Take care. Bye-bye.